So on the new website launch side, say you, you know, you're running a new business like Blueprint or other one, I think a common question that people ask is, how long sh does a website take to rank? Uh, wh what is your experience there? And I'm sure it's contextual, of course, but sure. uh, how would you generally answer that for a client? <sighs> <laughs> for for a class, uh, Deep side, for, for, a, yeah, for a client, that's like a question I hate getting. Yeah. Um, for a client, I tell them a year. Like I, I, I'm just, I always want to kind of hedge on the fact that it's going to take a long time. Yeah, like I want them to understand that, mm -hmm. and then they'll get it's results faster. Fa great, yeah. <laughs> but ultimately, too, what's going to happen is content's going to rank faster. It's going to drive traffic, and then you have to have the conversation of why isn't this converting? Like, where, where traffic is, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's a oh, whole, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, because the bottom um, funnel isn't ranking yet. But yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I, I tell them a year. I tell them a year until they're seeing business results hmm. for a client website. If it's my websites, though, um, like what I did with the Blueprint, I, t I took a lot of pages from my other websites and redirected them. Uh, to pass that authority to, like, I'd migrate to content. process to degree. Yeah, I mean, it's already ranking for a lot of keywords. Mm -hmm. um, I also, what I did was, and this is, I uh, kind of stole this from Brian Dean a little bit, but um, he's been on a spree of buying websites and redirecting yeah. them. Um, and it works tremendously well. You know, his website is already a monster, but, um, you know, it, it, <laughs> the, the, the addition, like to me, if you're talking about link building, like getting a link from a website is great, but if you can get someone to redirect their entire domain or even just a page on their website, like that to me tells Google that like, I trust this website so much, I'm not just linking to it, I'm giving them my page. You okay. know? Um, so actually what I did with the blueprint was um, I found well, a lot of comparison guides work really well. Um, so I was writing a blog post on like Moz versus Ahrefs versus SEM Rush, and I was just doing competitive research and I found mm -hmm. this blogger who was ranking first for that keyword. Okay. So I just hit him up and I was like, hey, um, are you interested right. in selling me this post? And he did, and then he redirected it, and mm -hmm. the next day I was ranked for all those keywords. So it's kind of like, a rare thing, like not many people are going to be willing to do it. So, did you just buy it from him or him lease it. it? I paid him for it, yeah, and it wasn't was it, that much. <laughs> is there any? I guess it's a minor risk. If you, yeah, if it's not that much yeah. of like, what if the site their site turns off or is, it's a risk. Yeah. I, so basically, at that point too, is that I own the, like I looked at it as I'm getting this blog post written for me. That's are that's already the post that Google loves, um, and I figured if the redirect, like he could re also remove the redirect mm -hmm. uh, if he wanted to. I just had enough faith that he wouldn't, you know. Um, that was kind of the biggest risk that came up to me. But I figured as long as Google picked up that redirect, um, then I would own it, you know, like yeah. Google would understand that. And if they don't, I'll just delete it, it's whatever, you know, it's a, it's a test and experiment. Um, but yeah, it's probably worth, eventually there'd probably be, your domain authority would be high enough and the content's yeah, still there. You're sure. now the owner, as you mentioned. Mm -hmm. Maybe there'd be a slight downtick yeah. in ranking, but I can't imagine you'd go to zero, knock yeah. on wood. I mean, it's a risk, and it's not something that I would do for a client because- I've heard of leasing, so that's this what made me think mm -hmm. of it. There's like, a website that does it yeah. too, yeah. yeah. And the, no, I, for that, I think those businesses have not always super worked out well that tried that, but clearly it can work. I yeah. mean, I'm sure there's actual good businesses that do that well. Um, yeah, so I, I say similar, probably 12 months, mm -hmm. and it all depends on the vertical, of course. Like. If you're spending ten thousand a month in car insurance, you'll never rank. Yeah. Um, but if you're in a very niche industry, I think it's reasonable. I kind of like take the same numbers and basically the link numbers and divide it by how many they're going to be generating to create like a path towards that. But yeah, for a new site, always kind of a delayed process. And for clients that work with us, I say six months, and it's around four to six months. You'll see momentum if you already have a website. And then acceleration in six months to 12 months um, has gone pretty well. But yeah, SEO takes forever. But It does. Yeah, <laughs> it does, man. And that, that's another reason why I was talking about stacking services because mm -hmm. I feel like if you're working with a client and you're just doing SEO, um, you're under a microscope, you know? And that, that time to rank is, is amplified as opposed to if you're, if you're rebuilding their UX, if you're doing CRO, if you're, you know, fixing mm -hmm. up their email funnels, like all those different services bundled into one. It also helps them to understand the scope of the internet and that like SEO isn't the only way that you're gonna have success. And like, there's a lot of things that we can do while we're doing this that's gonna, you know, increase your top line right away. Yeah, you know? that's fair. One thing I'm curious about.